so dear students let us continue our study of the paper forensic chemistry and explosive and in these modules that the earlier modules and this one we will focus on the alcohol in the previous module you have studied that how the beverages are classified into alcoholic and non alcoholic beverages and we have gone through the historical aspect and how knowledge of the different type of beverages especially the alcoholic beverages has so much significance in solving the cases which needs forensic investigation so in this module we will be focusing on alcohol intoxication and if you look at the learning outcomes of this module dear students after studying this module you shall be able to know what are the effects of alcohol on our body what is the meaning of the term alcoholic intoxication what is acute and chronic alcoholic intoxication what are the various symptoms fatal dose fatal period and post mortem appearance of acute and chronic intoxication and to begin with let us see what are the effects of alcohol on our body so let us begin by understanding the effect of alcohol on brain mainly when we drink alcohol it controls our brain and we are not able to do the work as efficiently and in consciousness as we are without alcohol consumption so that is why we are not able to do the functions properly and if it is very high concentration then it can make us go into a situation we are not able to control our body so if we go into the details of studying effect of alcohol on brain alcohol affects various nerve centers present in the brain though all the nerve centers are not equally affected by the similar level of alcohol in the blood but as the alcohol content of the blood increases even more brain centers become affected neurons are considered to be the basic unit of nervous system you are already aware about this these specialized cells are the information processing units of the brain that are responsible for receiving and transmission of the information each part of the neuron plays an important role in the communication of information throughout our body brain as you already know is composed of billions of nerve cells which are called as neurons a typical neuron has these three main parts as you can see in this figure there is a cell body then there are dendrites and you have axon dendrites are nothing but clusters of small fibers which are attached to the cell body that receive chemical message from other neurons the axon is a long single thread like structure that transmit messages from the cell body to the neighboring neurons or other body cells and the axon of a neuron is in a very close proximity of the dendrites of neighboring neuron but still they are not in actual contact with each other the small space between the neurons is called as synapse the process of transmission of messages amongst the different neurons is known as neurotransmission so a message is an electrical impulse in the cell body that moves down the axon towards the synapse and what happens at the synapse at the synapse this impulse triggers the neurotransmitters with the release of acetylcholine 
which diffuse across the synapse and bind to the receptor molecule located in the cell membranes of adjoining neurons dendrites. The binding of the neuron transmitter either inhibits or stimulates the electrical impulse in the receiving neuron. There are many types of neurotransmitters in the brain and each has their own specific function. The binding of a neurotransmitter to its receptor is specific that is like a key which will fit only in its own lock not to any other lock and a neurotransmitter hence fits only to its own receptor in the analogy of the lock and key model. Once the purpose of the neurotransmitter is fulfilled that is after passing its message it is either reabsorbed by its releasing neuron or broken down by an enzyme. For many years it was considered by the scientist that alcohol alters the functioning of neurons present in brain by interacting with fat globules that are present in the cell membrane. But now it has been found and established that alcohol actually interacts with protein molecules which are present in the cell membranes especially those which are involved in the process of neurotransmission. However, unlike other drugs, alcohol interacts with multiple systems in the brain sometimes inhibiting neurotransmission or at other times stimulating it. So what happens after consuming a sufficient amount of alcohol is that the person experiences a pleasurable state of mind which in some individual leads to the repeated need and will to take alcohol. If drinking is excessive, it can lead to sedation, loss of coordination, confusion, coma and even death. Chronic consumption of alcohol may lead to tolerance which may ultimately result into physical dependence. The term tolerance implies to a state where the sensitivity of brain towards alcohol is decreased. If alcohol dependent individual stop taking alcohol then they experience withdrawal symptoms like anxiety, tremors, sweating, hallucinations etc. Alcohol intoxication affects different parts of the brain. So dear student you should avoid the alcohol drinking at all cost but yes as a forensic scientist you should know what all are the symptoms and how it affects and then how to do the analysis when you find such samples at the crime scene. So we will continue the study of this with the help of graphic and visuals in a more detailed manner. The physiological and behavioral changes of alcoholic intoxication on various parts of the brain are as follows. First is cerebral cortex. It processes information obtained from various senses, process thoughts and consciousness, initiates the movement of various voluntary muscles. Alcohol affects the cortex in the following ways. It inhibits the proper thought process, thus the judgment and thinking ability of a person gets affected. It depresses the behavioral inhibitory centers as a consequence the person becomes overconfident and more talkative. It slows down the processing of information obtained from the senses. The individual feels blurred vision 
and difficulty in hearing, smelling and tasting. The threshold for pain also increases. Next is hippocampus. This region controls the emotions and memory of a person. As an effect of alcoholic intoxication, the person is subjected to exaggerated states of emotion like anger, aggressiveness, etc. coupled with memory loss. Next is cerebellum. It coordinates the muscular movements of the body due to the effect of alcohol on cerebellum the movements of muscle get uncoordinated in addition to this fine muscle movements are also coordinated by cerebellum which plays an important role in body balancing thus impairment of this region leads to a stage which is described as falling down drunk hypothalamus and pituitary gland both these glands coordinate many chemical and endocrine functions like secretion of sex thyroid and growth hormones alcohol has two major effects on these two glands which influence first sexual behavior alcohol suppresses the nerve centers in hypothalamus that controls sexual instincts thus the person becomes sexually aggressive and in case of severe intoxication may even commit an offense next is urine excretion alcohol inhibits the action of pituitary and thus reduces the production of antidiuretic hormone or ADH. When the level of ADH drops, the kidney does not absorb as much water. Consequently, the rate of maturation increases. Next is medulla. It controls essential body functions such as body temperature, heart rate, breathing and consciousness as alcohol starts influencing upper centers of medulla the person starts feeling sleepy and eventually may become unconscious if the BAC is high enough to influence the other centers like heart rate breathing and temperature the person starts breathing slowly body temperature starts falling along with the blood pressure this may also lead to death next moving on to effect of alcohol on other body parts in addition to the brain alcohol also affects other parts and organs of the body in the following ways first is liver alcohol damages the linings of the liver which is known as alcoholic cirrhosis. The severity of the symptoms varies in accordance to the stage of the illness. In the initial stages, there may not be any symptom. The chief symptoms are lack of energy, loss of appetite, a orange or brownish tint to the urine, confusion, personality changes, disorientation, blood in stool, and edema, stomach and intestine. Drinking alcohol, even a little, makes a stomach to secrete more gastric juice than usual, which may cause gastritis. This may initiate pain, vomiting, diarrhea, and even bleeding in heavy drinkers. It damages muscle layers of intestinal wall and stomach. Use of alcohol can cause decreased gastrointestinal smooth muscle contraction. After chronic use of alcohol, there is an increase in propulsive contractions
which causes diarrhea. Muscles Protein synthesis is essential for muscle growth. Drinking alcohol actually inhibits the process of protein synthesis therefore. Alcohol stops the muscle growth. Heavy consumption of alcohol for a prolonged period of time may lead to alcoholic cardiomyopathy. In this disorder, the muscles of the heart become so weak that they cannot efficiently pump out the blood. Symptoms of alcoholic cardiomyopathy There are usually no symptoms until the disease is in an advanced stage. At that point, the symptoms occur due to heart failure and may include decreased concentration, breathing difficulty while lying down, that is orthopnea, irregular or rapid pulse, fatigue, faintness, cuff containing frothy pink material or mucus, need to urinate at night, that is nocturia, general swelling, palpitations, breath shortness, especially with activity, that is dyspnea. Next, moving on to skin. Much of the focus of alcohol is centered on the liver, but the skin is left out. The chief effects of alcohol on skin are alcohol robs nutrients of body, including antioxidants and vitamins. Vitamin A specifically helps the body produce collagen and regenerate new skin cells. Heavy drinking of alcohol may lead to the dilation of blood vessels of face causing red spider like red veins to appear. Alcohol dehydrates or depletes the body water and highly oxygenated blood that it needs to keep skin hydrated and moisturized thus leaving the skin dry. Alcohol can cause flare-ups of rosacea, a common skin disorder that produces redness in the nose, chin and cheeks. It increases the blood flow in the skin so that the face of the person intoxicated looks flushed and such person starts sweating profusely. Now moving on to alcohol intoxication. First is nature of problem. Alcohol intoxication which is also known as drunkenness or inebriation is a physiological state that is induced by the consumption of alcohol. This state generally results when the rate of consumption of alcohol exceeds the rate of alcohol metabolism which leads to a rise in the blood alcohol concentration. Alcohol probably has caused more deaths in comparison to any other poison chiefly due to its easy availability. The government has also considered it as a major problem of the nation and has taken measures to eradicate this evil. Thus, it is necessary that the law enforcement agencies have a basic knowledge about alcohol for the effective implementation of law and prosecution of offenders. Because of its prevalence in society and legal status, alcohol is placed in a distinct category apart from other drugs. In a medical context, a drug may be defined as any substance used in the diagnosis, prevention, treatment or cure of a disease. In context of drug abuse, a drug may be defined as any substance that may form habit and alters consciousness and in this way, alcohol can also be classified as a drug of abuse. The problem related to alcohol is generally confronted in cases of traffic accidents where the driver is suspected to be drunk. 
Not only this, in the implementation of various prohibition laws, it is necessary to examine various fermented wash, illicit liquors, etc. for their alcoholic content. As the concentration of alcohol in blood increases, nature of problem and the risk associated with it also increases. Now moving on to acute intoxication. Acute intoxication is usually a consequence of deliberate heavy drinking, either small doses at short intervals or a large dose at a time. Alcohol acts as a depressant of central nervous system and particularly affects the brain. The extent of depression is in proportion to the concentration of alcohol within the body. Forebrain is the area which is prone to the action of alcohol. But as soon as the level of alcohol in blood rises, other parts of the brain also get affected. However, the part of the brain that is most resistant to the effect of alcohol is medulla. It is the last to fail and regulates the vital functions of the body like heart function, respiration, etc. Generally, following three stages are noticed in case of alcohol intoxication, signs and symptoms. First is a stage of excitement. In this stage, the person becomes excited with a feeling of well-being and pleasure. The drinker converses well but becomes emotionally very stable. There is increased self-confidence but a lack of self-control. He may disclose his secrets. In this stage, the blood alcohol level may vary from 0.05 to 0.1 percent. Next is a stage of incoordination. Stage of excitement is followed by incoordination of thought, speech and action which are manifested as a state of confusion. It is coupled with impaired judgment, slurred speech and staggered gait. The person becomes so violent that he may commit any crime. Vomiting and nausea are common in this stage. Breath smells of alcohol. Face is flushed and the pulse is rapid. Sense of touch, taste, smell and hearing are diminished. In this stage, the blood alcohol level may vary from 0.1 to 0.3 percent. Next, moving on to stage of narcosis. In this stage, the motor and sensory cells are deeply affected. The patient passes into a deep sleep and responds only to strong stimuli. His pulse becomes rapid, pupils are contract and the temperature of the body falls below normal. In this stage, the blood alcohol level is 0.3 percent or above. With recovery, the coma gradually lightens into a deep sleep and the person usually recovers within 8 to 10 hours and finally wakes up with acute depression, nausea, abdominal discomfort, irritability and severe headache. If coma continues for more than 5 hours, the prognosis is likely to be worse. Prolonged coma may cause irreversible hypoxic brain damage and death. Next is fatal dose. About 150 to 250 ml of absolute alcohol is generally considered fatal for an adult. About 60 ml of absolute alcohol is considered to be fatal in case of a child below 12 years of age. However, the fatal dose may vary according to the habit and age of patient as well as the nature and strength of the liquor taken. Next, moving on to fatal period. The usual fatal period varies 
from 12 to 24 hours. Now, the postmodern appearances. On opening the body cavity, the odor of alcohol gets frequently noticed. Acute inflammation of the stomach with the coating of mucus is commonly found. The brain, liver and lungs are highly congested and the blood is usually fluid and dark. These symptoms are coupled with edema and congestion of the brain and meninges. Cloudy swellings of parenchymatous organs are often seen. Next is a table showing the progressive effects of alcohol ranging from blood alcohol concentration of 0.01 to 0.05 and thus moving on to 0.41 and greater. Now is chronic intoxication. Habitual drunkards are either psychotic or neurotic and usually take alcohol as a means to escape from the stress and strains of life. They have been taking alcohol for a long and continued period. Some develop dipsomania, an irresistible desire to take large amounts of alcohol until they become almost unconscious from its effects. As time passes, the habit reoccurs even at shorter intervals. Mostly, there is some psychological basis of some distressing event in the patient's past life which are responsible for this condition. Now moving on to the signs and symptoms of chronic intoxication. The patient suffers from vomiting, nausea, anorexia, diarrhea, jaundice, tremors of hands and tongue, memory loss, insomnia, and impaired power of judgment. The symptoms of peripheral neuritis and dementia occur in the last stage. Such patients generally die suddenly from coma. Next is post-mortem appearances. The gastric mucous membrane is deep, reddish brown with patches of congestion or effusion. The liver is congested and shows party infiltration and the signs of cirrhosis. The kidney shows granular degeneration whereas the heart is dilated and shows party degeneration. Now, what are the clinical syndromes of chronic alcoholism? Three common clinical symptoms which result from chronic alcoholism are delirium tremens. It is a state of excitement with hallucinosis which usually lasts for three to four days. It generally results from an unusual large amount of drinking, sudden withdrawal of alcohol, acute inflammation such as pneumonia or influenza, exposure to cold and shock from an injury like fracture of a bone. It is characterized by an attack of acute insanity which is manifested by the common symptoms like sleeplessness, marked tremors, excitement, fear and hallucinations, chiefly visible and occasionally auditory. The person may seek to escape from his situation by committing suicide. He may often become violent to commit a crime, but he is for the time being insane and thus can't be held responsible for his acts provided the thing which intoxicated him must have been administered to him without his knowledge or against his will. That is under section 86 of IPC. Next is Korsakoff's psychosis. It is a syndrome characterized by disorientation, hallucinations, and multiple neuritis. The patient's memory 
but the recent events is lost and he starts filling these gaps by confabulation. This state lasts about from one month to one year. Lastly, acute hallucinosis. It is a state of hallucination, chiefly auditory, with systematic delusions of persecution. This stage may last from weeks to months. The patient may become homicidal or suicidal in response of his hallucinations. So dear students, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. We have learned that alcohol affects various centers of brain namely cerebral cortex, hippocampus, cerebellum, hypothalamus and medulla. In addition to the brain, alcohol also affects other parts and organs of the body like liver, stomach, intestine, muscles and skin. There are a number of crimes in which alcohol intoxication plays quite a crucial role. The problem related to alcohol is generally confronted in cases of traffic accidents where the driver is suspected to be drunk. As the concentration of alcohol in blood increases, the nature of problem and the risk associated with it also increases. Alcoholic intoxication may be chronic or acute depending upon the quantity of alcohol and the intervals between the successive drinks. We also studied that acute intoxication is usually a consequence of deliberate heavy drinking either small doses at short intervals or large dose at a time. Delirium tremens is a state of excitement with hallucinosis which usually lasts for 3 to 4 days which generally results from sudden withdrawal of alcohol. We also studied that Korsakoff's psychosis is a syndrome characterized by disorientation, hallucination and multiple neuritis. So dear students, in the earlier and these modules, we have studied about the various types of beverage, their classification, then specially focusing on the alcoholic beverages because at crime scenes they play very crucial role. So we have gone into the study of the alcohol metabolism and how it affects our body and I again repeat, dear students, never take and never consume alcohol in any form. Thank you.